I do all right, don't I? Yeah. No, it's probably on the front. You do all right, honey. It does actually chip in, like... He doesn't just sit on his backside in the morning, which is... Well, sometimes you do, actually. National because, biscuit. Yeah, they were like the raw biscuits for the Anzacs. So how did you make them? They're called Anzac biscuits, so they're like they were for the veterans that were overseas, so they were made of oats and yeah. Quick tip for you, right? I'm gonna split eggs because I never had yolks as a kid. Um, so my kids, I don't know why. I don't, Tosh reckons I put them off, but I didn't. No, quick tip is if you want. To make a carbonara, you split your eggs, keep your yolks, and you can whisk your yolks up with some parmesan cheese. Just parmesan cheese, bit of black pepper, throw it over some hot pasta, pasta cooks the yolk, got yourself a nice carbonara. Fill in some oats this morning. Just for the look, you know? Um, yeah, you. you're going out, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. See? Out for brunch? So she likes white and all that. So I don't normally have milk or coffee. Which is strange because over here that's not culture, but if you ask for milk in Italy, they look at you like you've got four heads. Milk is a breakfast drink, so if you're having cappuccino it has to be before like culture people in Italy like it's like I, another thing I learned on my travels, never ask for parmesan cheese on a seafood based pasta. Wait waiters like really? It's just one of them. That's a good one. Hello. You going to school? Not so live really, to be honest, because my season's come to a bit of a standstill. We've got um, Qatar's been postponed apparently. Perez in two weeks' time has been moved to the last round of the championship. 
because the whole world's facing this uh, coronavirus pandemic. So, um, my life here in the UK is not not exactly normal. Everyone's um, I don't actually know why, but everyone's buying toilet roll. Everyone's buying all the pasta and rice in supermarkets, and everyone started washing their hands. So I don't know what they were doing beforehand. Um, no pun intended, but. I'm trying to get on with life as normal because I don't really know when um, I don't know when my season's going to start again. But generally on Wednesdays, we're what Wednesday, Wednesday the 18th. It's like a moto day at McGilligan, so I, I go riding up there. No, so I thought I'd take on a trip to McGilligan to see what Wednesday motos looks like. Yeah, it's still like the best. Um, it's run by a buddy of mine, Philip McCulloch. He was an ex motocross rider himself. At a really high level, but it's the best training facility in Ireland um, because you can pretty much ride it all year round, even in the height, like December when it's when it's raining because it's like beach sand. Yeah. I'm doing some cool. I like your kiwi ups. <laughs> Is that <laughs> oh, about twenty times. <laughs> I was like, that, that wasn't the first time we nah, that. No, nah, and then I got a mate, uh, a fella doing a painting from here, he reckons he's a good footballer. Oh, and he says, that. give me that, I'll have a go at that. But the one of the, the two cranes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm going to ride track one. First time, I've, actually the last time I was here, on my 250 I rode track two, which is a little easier. Not easier, but not as soft. If you go down, generally it's um, you're not full of gravel rash like you would be on like Spain when I do my MX camp there. So it's forgiven, but it's still anything can happen. I've had a few big ones here. I started packing myself a day bag now when I go riding instead of just bringing my whole kit back. But I packed this like a few days ago. Oh, no.
So I just, just got done with riding, what a day. I, like, I love that place more and more every time I go back. I rode my 250 today, man, what a bike. It's like, I had so much fun riding. And basically most, most Wednesdays are, it's not like, it's like pro days, because most people are at work, so the guys that are out there are pretty fast. So it's always good to like, just gauge a little bit. And sometimes that's bad because you end up pushing too much and you can go into mistakes, but it's good for concentration because you don't, you don't want to make mistakes, you want to keep rhythm. Yeah, it's just awesome, man. I just love riding, love riding because it's so, it's so similar in so many ways to road racing, but it's so different. It's similar because the concentration you need to ride at that intensity um, is like, because the track changes every lap. So you'll be going through this section of, of dirt and one lap, the ruts are straight and the next lap someone's blew it out and you're just, your mind's working like in milliseconds. Then it's, um, but it's so different because the techniques are so different. I, but I grew up in motocross. So it's funny because I can ride at an intensity where it becomes really relevant to what I'm doing. A lot of fast road racers trying to motocross and it's so funny because they can go quite fast and like a flat on technical track, but going in the sand, it's, it's completely different. So that's why that place is so gnarly. It's just the start of the day, it's like, flat as a baby's bum, you know, it's so, um, or smooth, but then, you know, after you, there was like six bikes there today, but even six bikes after, you know, a couple hours, it's whooped out, it's like super, super bumpy, and that's, that's when it gets cool and technical, so, um, yeah, I could just ride all day, yeah, there's, they got a risk racing start gate, so I can practice starts and motos, Sometimes if I get bored doing motos, I'll do sprint laps. So I go out, do two laps full gas, take a rest for a minute, then do three laps full gas, take a rest for a minute, two laps full gas, take a rest for a minute. And it's just diff just changes it. I also go around, set little challenges sometimes, and it's like you go around without using any brakes, uh, or you go around the whole lap stood up on the pegs just change it up so it's fun but um, yeah it's sometimes sketchy going out by yourself sometimes because you know anything can happen and um, but you know there's always my my buddies are riding there or uh, Philip's always there so it's um, yeah it's safe enough but we're gonna do a pit stop on the way home because I need um, I need some fuel a little bit of lunch there at, um, in between motos, but I'm feeling a big, dirty chicken wrap. Probably a bit of taco sauce on it. Lettuce, might skip the cheese. Tomato, red onion, sweet corn. It's just stopped off my little Costa coffee. Need that, to be honest, to get me through the rest of the day. But um, yeah, what, what a day, man. So in the evening I'll go and I'll do a, an easy spin on the turbo trainer at home. Just an hour, just spin my legs, try and get rid of any lactic acid I've had, just keep the blood moving because after a day riding in the sand I always struggle with my lower back, it gets a bit stiff. So um, yeah, have a nice, see what um, my meal plan says for tonight, hopefully get a nice dinner and um, put kids to bed and then generally like I don't do too much in the evenings, kind of sit around with Tarsh. She watches all like her NCIS kind of stuff and weird dark dramas. I'm not that, I'm not that weird. So I'm, I probably jump on the PlayStation, play some FIFA or F1 with the kids before they go to bed and then creep on social media for a bit. And I, generally I go to sleep about 9.30, 9, 9.30. And then up first thing in the morning, back to the gym to see Johnny, my trainer. So we focus on just pure strength work and that. So actually, if, um, if enough of you watch this and subscribe and like and comment, and it's actually worthwhile doing my little vlog series, I'll, I'll bring you to the gym and show you what I do there. So, um, but it's good fun, you know, I like it.
and uh, I still get to maintain a bit of a, a social life. Try to always make a day on the weekend where I pause for a minute and go out with Tars for food or coffee or breakfast because our life's honestly consumed by by my racing and having two kids and she never gets a break from, from that routine. I do by going racing. So it's nice to sometimes just take time out for ourselves and be normal and that's pretty cool. So it's done for today, bike's clean, I'm going to clean my kit, ready for the weekend and have a nice family dinner. So hope you liked this episode. If you did, please like, hit the like button, smash that subscribe button and we'll try and keep these videos coming.